the gift of truth excels all other gifts. If you find truth in any religion, accept that truth. One who sees my teaching sees me. One who serves the sick serves me. In this world hatred can never be appeased by hatred. Hatred can only be appeased by love. This is the eternal law. All conditioned things are impermanent. When one see this in wisdom, then one becomes dispassionate towards the painful. One is the road that leads to worldly gain, one leads to deathlessness, eternal bliss. By mind the world is led, by the mind the world is drawn. And all men own the sovereignty of mind. In this very one fathom long body along with perception and thoughts, I proclaim the world, the origin of the world, the cessation of the world, and the path leading to the end of the world. The man of little learning grows old like the ox. His body grows but wisdom grows not. It is because you and I do not understand and comprehend the four noble truths that we have to run this long and weary round of existence samsara. Fools wait for a lucky day, but every day is a lucky day for an industrious man. The secret of happiness lies in minds released from worldly ties. All tremble at the rod, all fear death. Feeling for others as for oneself, one should neither kill nor cause to kill. The evildoer grieves here, he grieves hereafter. He grieves in both worlds, he grieves, he perishes with his own impure deed. This is a religion for one to come and practice but not just to come and believe. Vigilance is the path to deathlessness. Negligence is the path to death. The vigilant do not die. The negligent are as if dead already. Tolerance, patience and understanding are the highest virtues every man should develop. The fool who is aware of his foolishness is wise at least to that extent. But the fool who thinks himself wise is a fool indeed. The middle path of righteous living brings knowledge and understanding. It brings insight, leads to calm and wisdom to awakening, nirvana. Blessed are they who earn their living without hurting others. Vast learning perfect handicraft, a highly trained discipline, and pleasant speech, this is a blessing. Let not one deceive another nor despise any person whatsoever in any place. In anger or ill will, let him not wish any harm to another. Do not associate with fools, associate with the wise, honor those who are worthy of honor, this is a blessing. He who harms the innocent must bear the fruit of his act, like dust flung against the wind. Support thy mother and father, cherish loved ones and children. This is a blessing. Doth the man who is a debauchee, a drunkard, a gambler, and who squanders whatsoever he possesses the cause of his own downfall. Health is the greatest wealth. Contentment is the greatest happiness. Give up evil, it can be done. If it were not possible to give up evil, I would not say so. Since it can be done, I advise you to give up evil. In each man's mouth at birth is born an axe, wherewith the fool who speaks ill cuts himself. Speak the truth not untruth, say what is pleasant not unpleasant, speak what is true, not false. Speak only words that do not bring remorse nor hurt another, that is good speech indeed. 
Let a man apply himself to what is proper before he preaches others. Though one should conquer a million men in battlefield, yet indeed he is the noblest victor who has conquered himself. Even as a solid rock is unshaken by the wind, so are the wise unshaken by praise or blame. As rain penetrates an ill-thatched house, so lust penetrates an undeveloped mind. Do not forget your spiritual development while serving others. Do not depend on others, develop your self-confidence. It is through unshaken perseverance that I have reached the light, through unceasing effort that I have reached the peace supreme. If you also will strive unceasingly, you too will within a short time reach the highest goal of bliss by understanding and realizing it yourselves. Dot wheresoever fear arises, it arises in the mind of the fool, not in that of the wise man. A young and strong person who does not strive when he should strive, who is given to idleness, who is loose in his purpose and thoughts, and who is lazy, that idol never finds the way to wisdom. Real peace comes from within, seek not from outside. One should not accept anything with mere faith, but one should use one's common sense and intelligence before accepting anything. Practice the middle path without going to extremes, practice it in every aspect of your life. When your physical body is sick, do not allow your mind also to be sick. A useful single day's life of intense effort is better than a hundred years of idleness and inactivity. He who leads a righteous way of life, will find that noble virtue itself to protect and guide him. A useful single day's life of intense effort is better than a hundred years of idleness and inactivity. It is inconceivable to find the beginning of samsara, cycle of birth and death, a first beginning of beings who wander on in samsara, bounded by ignorance and fettered by craving, cannot be seen. Not he who never thinks of anything as mine, who does not feel the lack of anything, he is never worried by a sense of loss. According to the seed that sown so is the fruit you reap therefrom, the doer of good will gather good, the doer of evil, evil reaps. Neither for the sake of oneself nor for the sake of another should one do wrong, not even for the sake of acquiring wealth, kingdom or children, should one do wrong. Such a one is indeed virtuous, wise and righteous. We are the results of what we were and we will be the results of what we are. So long as an evil deed does not affect the fool, he thinks that it is honey, but when it affects him, then he comes to grief. Not in the sky, nor in the mid-ocean, not in mountain cave, is found that place on earth where abiding one may escape from the consequences of one's own evil deed. Your misdeeds were not committed by your parents, nor by your brothers and sisters, nor by your friends nor kinsfolk nor by recluses and priests, it is you who are responsible. The accomplishment of persistent effort, the accomplishment of watchfulness, good friendship and balanced livelihood leads to happiness. Those who go from darkness to darkness, those who go from light to darkness, those who go from darkness to light, those who go from light to light, Acquire wisdom, practice devotion, morality, and charity. 
belief that everything is due to previous karma, belief that everything is due to supernatural causes, belief that everything appears without any cause. The happiness of the senses and the happiness of renunciation, but the greater of the two is the happiness of renunciation. Dot whatever action you are performing by body, speech or mind, first think, will this action be harmful to myself or to others or to both? Will this action produce suffering? If it is harmful, avoid doing it. Those who look after themselves and ignore others, those who look after others and ignore themselves, those who neglect themselves as well as others, those who look after themselves as well as others. Develop the meditation on loving kindness and discard ill will. Develop the meditation on compassion and discard cruelty. Develop the meditation on sympathetic joy and discard jealousy. Develop the mediation on equanimity and discard restlessness. Develop the meditation on impermanence and discard pride. Oneself is one's own protector, refuge. What other protector, refuge, can there be? With oneself fully controlled, one obtains a protection, refuge, which is hard to gain. Better is it truly to conquer oneself than to conquer others. Neither a god nor an angel nor Mara nor Brahma could turn in to defeat the victory of a person such as this who is self-mastered and ever retrained in conduct. Do not commit wrongful actions. Do not dwell in negligence. Do not embrace false views. So the world, i.e. samsara, the cycle of existence and continuity, is not prolonged. By oneself indeed is evil done and by oneself is one defiled. By oneself is evil left undone and by oneself indeed is one purified. Purity and impurity depend on oneself. No one can purify another. From lust arises grief, from lust arises fear. For him who is free from lust there is no grief, much less fear. The conqueror begets enmity, the defeated lie down in distress. The peaceful rest in happiness, giving up both victory and defeat. As rust arisen out of iron eats itself away, even so his own deeds lead the transgressor to the states of woe. To speak no ill, to do no harm and to practice restraint according to the fundamental precepts, to be moderate in eating, to live in seclusion to devote oneself to higher consciousness, this is the teaching of the Buddhas. The fault of others is easily seen, but one's own is hard to see. Like chaff one winnows other's faults, but one's own one conceals as a crafty fowler disguises himself. The sun glows by day, the moon shines by night, in his armor the warrior glows, in meditation shines the holy man, but all day and night shines with radiance the awakened one. You yourselves should make the effort. The awakened ones are only teachers. Those who enter this path and who are meditative are delivered from the bonds of evil. Happy indeed we live without hate among the hateful. We live free from hatred amidst hateful men. Doth the wise are controlled indeed, controlled in words, controlled in thoughts. Verily, they are fully controlled. Be on guard against physical agitation, be controlled in body. Forsaking bodily misconduct, follow right conduct in body. Be on guard against verbal agitation, be controlled in words. Forsaking wrong speech, follow right ways in words. Be on guard against mental agitation, be controlled in thoughts. Forsaking evil thoughts, Follow right ways and thoughts. By degrees little by little, 
from moment to moment a wise man removes his own impurities, as a goldsmith removes the dross of gold. The first truth, Dukkha, life in this mundane world, with its clinging and craving to impermanent states and things. The second truth, Samudaya, arising, coming together, is the truth that repeated life in this world, and its associated Dukkha arises, or continues, with craving for and clinging to these impermanent states and things. The third truth, Naroda, cessation, is the truth that Dukkha ceases, or can be confined, when one renounces or confines craving and clinging, and Nirvana is attained. The fourth truth, Maga, the path to the cessation of, or liberation from Dukkha, by following the Noble Eightfold Path, to Moksha or liberation. Of paths the Eightfold Path is the best, of truths the four words, noble truths, Narad or detachments is the best of states, and of humans the seeing one, the man of vision. Good is restraint of the eye, good is restraint of the ear, good is restraint of the nose, good is restraint of the tongue, good is restraint of the body, good is restraint of the mind, restraint everywhere is good, the bhikkhu restrained in every way is freed from all suffering. As a tree cut down sprouts forth again if its roots remain uninjured and strong, even so when the propensity to craving is not destroyed, this suffering arises again and again. He who is controlled in hand, controlled in foot, controlled in speech, and possessing the highest control, of mind, delighted within, composed, solitary and contented, in the Kalabhiku, ascetic. The much he recites the sacred text but acts not accordingly, the heedless man is like a cowherd who courts others' kind, he has no share in the blessings of a recluse. Dot by effort, earnestness, discipline, and self-control let the wise man make for himself an island which no flood can overwhelm. The little he recites the sacred text but acts in accordance with the teachings, and forsaking lust, hatred, and ignorance, truly knowing, with mind totally freed, clinging for naught here and hereafter, he shares the blessings of a recluse. There is no evil that cannot be done by the liar, who has transgressed the one law, of truthfulness, and who is indifferent to a world beyond. As a flower that is lovely and beautiful, but is scentless, even so fruitless is the well-spoken word of one who practices it not. He should not regard the faults of others, things done and left undone by others, but his own deeds done and undone. The ignorant, foolish folk indulge in heedlessness, but the wise man guards earnestness as the greatest treasure, Better than a thousand useless words, is a single useful sentence, hearing which one is pacified. Though he should live a hundred years, moral and uncontrolled, yet better, indeed, is it to live a single day, virtuous and meditative. For one who ever honors and respects the elders, four blessings increase, age, beauty, bliss, and power. He who is restraint and loving, kindness is always lucky, honored and happy. He is also beloved and appreciated by divine and human beings. Transient are conditioned things. Try to accomplish your aim with diligence.